bumpy trek. On the island of Sodor, there is a big station at the end of the line. It is one of the busiest places on the island. Several trains come to it daily. You know the sort of thing. Passenger trains, express trains, goods trains, trains carrying nuclear explosives, etc., etc. It is a very nice place to be this time of year, and several people come to the station to run the express trains that Gordon pulls, you know, around the day. Despite how nice the station looks, the trek around the station is very bumpy. There is even a sign near the station that warns the trains of the bumpy track ahead. Trains had to remember to go slow over the track, otherwise there could be an accident. Several occurrences had happened with this, though. Duck always remembered to go over it slowly. Whereas James... Ah! So the trains had to go over it slowly. The next day, Thomas, Gordon, and the big city engine were having an argument at some points near the station. What's the deal with that track, anyway? I better go over it real fast. Don't be ridiculous. If you went real fast over that track, you'd go off faster than Usain Bolt. We've seen heaps of engines who have tried to go over it fast, and all the, they've all crashed. Hey, Thomas, you agree with me? Yeah, big city engine. Gordon's right. If you go fast on that track, you'll crash. Huh, that's preposterous. Crashing if I go fast over bumpy rails. That is so retarded. You, you, you guys, you, you want to chat someone up? You want to chat someone up? Find Daisy or Mavis or Emily or whoever. I've had enough of you, idiots. I'm off. Bye. God, Big City Engine is such a dumbass. Hey, I heard that! The next day, Big City Engine was resting in a siding when the fat controller came over to him. Big City Engine, I need you to go over to the yard to collect a goods train and bring it into the station. The other railway needs the supplies. When you bring it in, a diesel will come and take it away. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good! Now get moving. Time's a wasting. Soon, Big City Engine had the goods train. Then, he came to the bumpy track. He thought about what Gordon and Thomas had said the other day. <laughs> Stupid engines. I'm gonna go over this track so fast. Well, yeah, I'll just go over it really fast, yeah. So Big City Engine went down the line and zoomed past Thomas into the station. Big City Engine! No! Don't be a dumbass! Big City Engine then zoomed over the bumpy track. He then came out of the station. Yes! I've done it! In your face, Gordon and Thomas! In his excitement, he didn't see the stop sign, and instead of going the way he needed to go, he continued going straight ahead into the siding. He then realized what was happening. Uh-oh! This can't be good! And it wasn't. At the end of the siding, the track made a cliff face. Oh no, I'm going over the edge! And he did. Ah! <laughs> Big City Engine was now hanging very precariously over the edge of the cliff face. The only thing holding him back on the rails were the trucks. Soon, the fat controller was on the scene. Thomas had been coupled to the milk tanker and was now s holding Big City Engine. The fat controller spoke severely to Big City Engine. Big City Engine, you idiot! I've told you a million times! Don't go fast over the bumpy track! And even if you didn't crash, something else probably would've gone wrong! And all the other engines told you! Why, just yesterday I heard Gordon and Thomas telling you not to do it! And what do you do? You do it! You sicken me! Um. Well, Thomas, I've done my bit. Now you can do yours. Pull Big City Engine back on the rails, would you? Okay, sir. I'm ready. Right, let's just let's just pull him up. Ah, ah! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just pull it up here. No, wait, wait. No, 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 no. What? Ah! Ah! Uh, oops. Ah, uh, don't worry, Thomas. He's only a rental. I got him cheap from my brother Albert, who lives in Alaska. Right, let's go. Do 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 do. Ah! God damn it, Thomas. Oops, my bad.